Okay, so we have a, an exponential expression with integer exponents to simplify. These are the seven rules of exponents that we're going to use. So let's get started. First of all, there are many different ways you can solve this particular problem. So I'm not saying this is the only way. Furthermore, it's not true that one way is particularly better than the other. And the first thing we're going to do, I want to make one step. And in this step, I would like to do two things. You see this x squared and x, I would like to consolidate them into one expression. And I want to deal with these negative signs because they are the danger spots of the problem. We can rewrite negative x to the 5 as x to the 5 multiplied by the number negative 1. And then we can treat negative 1 as a separate factor. So this is a three-factor problem. Okay. So we separated the negative signs as multipliers and we consolidated. So now we're going to make the following step. We're going to use, use this rule of exponentiation that states that if you're exponentiating a product, you can do it factor by factor. So that means that x to the 6 and y to the negative 2 will both be raised to the third power. Next, what we're going to do is simplify these expressions using the rule of exponentiation that states that in case of repeated multiplication, you can multiply the, the exponents. So we're going to multiply 6 and 3. You will not need this intermediate step, but you should slow down when you do. So that's for the numerator. Okay. So this is one of those problems where you can actually see the same thing upstairs and downstairs. You can just knock them out without having to simplify much of it. Okay, what should we do next? I would put the numbers first, then x, then y, bo in both the numerator and the denominator. So we have a negative 1 to the minus 2. Of course, if the base is common, we can add the exponent. So x to the 18 plus x to the minus 10 is x to the 8 and y was alone. See, it's getting shorter. Downstairs, we already had that. Unless there is some addition and subtraction, which is not the case, we can rewrite y to the negative 6 in the numerator as y to the positive 6 in the denominator and vice versa. So whoever has a negative exponent will be moved. Negative 1 to the negative 2 will be negative 1 squared in the denominator and negative 1 to the negative 3 in the denominator will become negative 1 to the plus 3 in the numerator. Notice that we are not dealing with, with the negative signs uh, in the baseline, it's just in the exponent. x to the 8 can stay, y should trouble, and finally x could trouble. Negative 1 to the third power is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, that's negative 1. And then we have x to the 8 and x times x to the 9 in the numerator. That's x to the 17. Negative 1 to the second power is plus 1. So our final answer is minus x to the 17 divided by y to the 6th power. You just saw me solve this very same problem. First of all, in mathematics, oftentimes, we don't find the most elegant method for the first try. And secondly, it's often beneficial to look back after we solved our problem. Then the method that you've seen before was a general method, but something specific is going on in this problem that makes another method seem more attractive. That is the following. You see that inside these parentheses, both exponents are positive and the same here. If that wasn't the case, this method wouldn't work so much. But here is a negative exponent, and this is for the whole thing. So this is one big factor. We could move it before we even get rid of the parentheses. Same here, we could move this in the numerator. So we can rewrite minus x to the fifth power y cubed to the negative 2 power as the same thing to the plus 2 power. And the same thing with the denominator. What happened is that every exponent is here, here is positive. So we avoided a lot of negative exponents this way. The rest is pretty much the same. So y to the 6 cancels. And I'm going to bring forward the numbers. So negative 1 to the third power is minus 1. 
x to the 18 plus 9 is x to the 27th power, y to the negative 6, which we can rewrite as y to the plus 6 downstairs. Minus 1 squared is plus 1, and x to the 10th just sits there. So now the only thing that's left is to simplify between x to the 27 and x to the 10. So the answer is going to be minus x to the 17 over y to the 6, which is not a surprise because we have solved this problem already. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching.